As schools rethink safety protocols in the wake of the Uvalde school shooting, Axtell ISD running active shooter drills today to make sure that teachers are prepared in case of the worst. Six News reporter Andrew Moore was at the school today and he saw what was happening firsthand. The community of Axtell here does not have its own police department. So if there is a crisis at the school district, law enforcement could be up to 25 minutes away. Superintendent J.R. Proctor says he wants his teachers to be able to respond to a threat in seconds. You play like you train. But school safety is not a game, and Superintendent J.R. Proctor says they need to be prepared to deal with a threat. Expecting someone else to come out and, and help protect our kiddos is not something that we're um, okay with. That's why the school district is working with Johnny Price and Big Iron to get their teachers ready. Some of that training is mental. Don't be okay. Arm yourself in and everything you got. But teachers must also be ready to make decisions in their classroom. So they ran scenarios like barricade training. Just apply and turn the lights off. And they trained to engage the shooter with anything they had. <laughs> Teachers also had to adapt to rooms with multiple entrances. If you shoot that door, you're in trouble. Price says yep. when lives are on the line. The best thing you guys have is you got high school. Use everything you have available, even kids throwing books. Proctor says the school also arms its staff through something called the Guardian Program. So our teachers have the means to intercept uh, a threat. But the details of who and how are kept under wraps. The bottom line, he says, Axtell ISD wants to do everything possible to keep kids safe. Protecting them is our number one priority, period. Proctor also told us the school district does multiple trainings a year, whether that's with Big Iron or other training experts. In Axtell, Andrew Moore, 6 News. Incredible video, great story. Thank you, Andrew. The TEA has also required school districts to take a look at their exterior doors, of course, and meet new standards on those. The Axtell superintendent said that they should already exceed those standards.